So we've learnt all about the thermometer and how you can have the thermometer in ones, twos, fives or tens. However, some thermometers are even more different than that. Some thermometers have positive and negative numbers. So that means that there are numbers that go underneath zero, but we'll go back to this one in a minute. This is a number line. And you've got numbers zero, one, two, three, four, five. So these numbers here, all the red numbers, zero, one, two, three, four, five, they're all positive numbers. So when we're doing our number line, we go zero, one, two, and we go up the numbers go higher. However, there are numbers that go below zero, so less than zero, lower than zero. So we go zero and they're almost like partners. So you've got minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five. So if these numbers going up are getting hotter and they're positive numbers, they're hotter, these numbers here going lower are colder. So minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. So we could say on our number line that three is bigger than or hotter than one degrees, number one, because we know that three is a bigger number than one. Just like we can then use this, minus one is not going to be as cold as minus three because it's getting colder and colder. The further away from zero you are, okay, the cold, the negative numbers, the more colder it is. Just like when we go up the number line here, as the numbers are getting bigger, the temperature is getting hotter. So these are our positive numbers. These are the hotter numbers. Just like these are the colder numbers, the negative numbers, because they start with a minus, minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, and we could keep going, minus six, minus seven, minus eight, and on and on and on. Zero is the middle number. Not hot, it's not cold, it's just zero, the zero pond, there's nothing there, zero pond. So again, positive, the numbers are going hotter, getting hotter, and higher and bigger, and here the numbers are getting negative, they're getting colder, minus one, minus two, okay? So hot, cold, and zero is just zero in the zero pond. You can use that to help you. Okay, so this is now our number line, but this one's going vertically. So if this one's going horizontally, it's going across the page, we're going back to our thermometer, which is vertical, it's going up. So we can see here we've got zero, and these are our positive numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, and it goes up. These numbers are getting hotter, hotter, hottest, all the way up. Whereas when we get to zero, the minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, the numbers are getting colder. Okay, so anything above zero is a positive number, which means that the numbers are getting hotter and hotter. And anything below or underneath zero means the numbers are getting colder and colder. We might need to go and get our mittens on if it's too, too cold. Okay, so as we can see here, look, our thermometer is showing us a temperature. It's not minus four, not minus three, it's minus two. Okay, so your challenge today, boys and girls, is that you have got a little sheet that can help you with your negative numbers. So you've got lots of thermometers like this and you're going to measure them to see if they're going to be positive or negative numbers. And remember, we can tell whether they're positive or negative because the negative numbers have the minus in front of them. The numbers are getting colder. They're less than zero. Okay. And these numbers are getting hotter. They're positive numbers.